exactly how he died. Meteorologist Rob Elvington tagged along with the National Weather Service tornado survey team this afternoon. That's right. Uh, that team was out there looking at the tornadoes that mm -hmm. Rob saw firsthand and touched down. And they were collecting evidence of the tornado damage in Butte and Glen counties. The team of meteorologists examined the damage to David Garcia's almond orchard. Now, this strong tornado damaged more than half of Garcia's 3,600 almond trees. And based on the damage they saw there, the National Weather Service meteorologists will then estimate the wind speed, and then that will give them the classification of the tornado. I'm out at the Garcia farm just northeast of Willows, and you can see here we've got downed trees in pretty much the entire orchard. The entire orchard is ruined. You can see all the trees down, and this is just one single row. The damage goes back row after row. The tornado damage was very severe in this part of Glen County. Now, traveling along with the National Weather Service survey team this afternoon, we found that the damage is very sporadic and erratic in nature. The tornado missed some properties and then slammed right through this orchard. So we learned that it's very important to take these warnings seriously and stay alert when these severe storms are passing through. Meteorologist Rob Elvington, KRCR News Channel 7. Now we're glad Rob was out there chasing those storms uh -huh. for us and glad that he stayed safe. Yes, that's close. They're staying very close to those storms. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, the tornadoes that hit our area and the series of tornadoes, it's really, it's so unusual. We were talking about this earlier, and all of my time here, I don't remember this many this close together. All of my time here. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, all the way to the ground like that, the way the, the video of the one that we saw. Well, First Alert Chief Meteorologist Mike Cougar has turned his storm tracker into a tornado tracker tonight. Mike. Yeah, what we've kind of done and what I want to do here is just kind of illustrate to you where these tornadoes uh, believe to have touched down. Two of them have been confirmed of four. So there you can see the ones that have question marks on them have still yet to be confirmed by the National Weather Service. They're in our office right now trying to determine that after they've been out to these uh, sites and surveyed the situation here. Number one, this is the one there. You can see that uh, to the north and east of Willows. This is the one that, that on our 5 o'clock show on Wednesday, meteorologist Rob Elvington was telling us about this one that he was looking at and actually had some video of it as well. Number two, the one around the Ord Bend area. This is confirmed by the Weather Service. They actually went out the day of and surveyed that situation and uh, did uh, determine that it was a tornado. Number three is the one in the Durham area. This too has been confirmed as a tornado. They also surveyed the area north of Oroville or on the Table Mountain Road area and this one has yet to be confirmed and again most likely we'll find out either later tonight or tomorrow if number one and number two or number four that is on the screen here are indeed tornadoes or not. Most likely what we're dealing with here are F0 to F1 tornadoes, EF1 uh, tornadoes here. Uh, there could be some that are very close to EF2s, uh, but at this point most likely be between EF0 and EF1. And of course there's a scale there right in front of you. The higher that uh, number is, say EF5, you're talking about over 200 mile an hour wind speeds associated with that tornado. So we typically around here in the North State, if we do see these tornadoes develop, they're generally between EF0s and EF1s. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Mike. President Obama met today with the leaders of the G8, eight of the wealthiest countries in the world. That's right. They discussed financial aid.